Hi guys, just a quick video today then. I've over the last week or so been making some more quick change tool holders and today I want to cold blue them. So I'm going to share that experience with you guys as I've never done any cold bluing before. So it's going to be interesting to see how these holders turn out. For those of you that don't know then, this right here is cold blue. Not to be mistaken with this, cold blue, which is quite a bit different. So the basic idea behind this is you get your parts really clean, dunk it in a solution of cold blue and the acids within the cold blue react with the steel turning it to sort of this sort of dark blackish, dark bluish tinge to the metal. So other than the appearance it also is a really good way of giving some corrosion resistance against any steel parts. So that's what we're going to be doing today, stripping these parts down, giving them a good clean and then dunking them into some cold blue solution. First of all then, going to strip these parts down, get them to a bare shell and then give them a quick going over with some really high grade sandpaper to try getting a really nice shine on these parts before cold bluing them. So to get the best finish with cold blue, it's essential that you have a good surface finish to start with. And to make sure I've got the best surface finish I can possibly get, I'm just rubbing these over with some 800 grit sandpaper and a little bit of lubricant on there to get a slightly finer grit than 800. Right, I've got all my parts sanded down now and online in all the reviews I've seen, it says it's really important to degrease these parts. So off camera, I've just sprayed them with a load of brake cleaner gave them a good wipe down and make sure all grease and debris has been removed off of these parts. So next part really is the exciting part. So I'm going to be using this Philips Professional Cold Blue. Now this thing's got mixed reviews online. A lot of people say if you dilute it, the part that you get out of it is really poor. So I'm going to use this neat and see how it ends up. So to begin with, I'm literally going to pour all this into a plastic bowl. It doesn't have to be plastic, you can use glass as well, just not a metal dish or anything like that. Right, with my cold blue in here now, I'm basically going to insert these tool holders one at a time, brushing them over with a paintbrush, and it says on the bottle it takes approximately three minutes for this stuff to work. So I'm going to put it in there, and just play this by eye really, see how it turns out, see what they look like after three minutes. So let's give this a whirl. First one, in it goes. So I'm not sure how bad this stuff is for you, so I'm gonna wear gloves from here on out until the process is all finished. So straight away the parts are going sort of a bluey black colour, so that's pretty good. So the process of this is going to be, keep them in here for about three minutes, take them out, immediately rinse them in water, and once they're rinsed off I'm then going to coat them in some oil, just for that oil to soak in and give these a really nice black finish. And hopefully then, should have some really nice rust resistant parts. They seem to be turning a really nice black colour. So I imagine you probably could dilute this down actually a little bit. I wouldn't know how much to dilute it by. The bottle says three to one, so three parts water to one one of these bottles, but I don't know, I think neat like this, it's gonna do a much better job than if you were to water it down. I suppose if you're trying to save money, watering it down, it's gonna go a lot further. But for me, for what I'm using it for, just doing the odd part here and there, I don't mind using it neat. Just 
just leave that to soak a little bit and then I reckon that's nearly time to remove. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. That's quite a good coating overall. I think it's ready to come out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this straight out of here. I'm gonna rinse it off in some water. I'm then gonna put it back down and just give it a nice light coating of oil. And then that one is all pretty much done. Try saving some of that cold blue for the next one. So I believe the water basically neutralises this chemical reaction between the acid and the metal. With that all done, I'm just going to quickly dry this off. And with that all dried off, I'm now just going to smear a little bit of oil over it. Try not to get this in our cold blue. This is just whale oil I'm using here. Don't know if it's right for the application, but I think any oil should do here. It's just to soak in and give it really a bit of a fighting chance at lasting out here in the workshop. Right, that is the first one done. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crack on, get these other four done, and then we'll come back in a couple of hours time once that's had a good time to soak in, because it says once after watering and oiling, it says to give it about an hour. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that, and we'll come back in a couple of hours time once I've had a cup of tea, had my dinner, and we'll see how these things look. Now it's been about an hour now, I'm really keen to see how this first one I've done turned out. So let's give it a go. Let's wipe a bit of this oil off and see what sort of finish we're left with. Gotta admit, so far this is looking pretty nice. For those of you that have noticed this little nick here, this is one of the first tool holders I made and we had a slight error in machining, but still works pretty good as a tool holder. Now I don't know about you, but that has turned out really nice in my opinion. I think it really helped sanding them down first and giving them a good degrease. Unfortunately, I've got to say, this is probably going to be one of the better ones. Looking over here at some of these, there's a few spots around this top bolt hole here where it looks like the blue hasn't reacted properly. So a good sign that there's probably grease left on there. So I should have been a bit more careful when degreasing. But this one's turned out really well. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all them wiped down lathe tools mounted back in these and we'll see what they look like when they're all back together. There we have it then guys. My five quick change tool holders are all now blued up. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this. For my first time ever doing any cold bluing, I think these parts have turned out really well. And I've got to admit, this Philips Professional Cold Blue, it's actually pretty good. Um, there's mixed reviews of this online, so I can only speak from my first hand opinion today. But using this stuff neat has given a really good final finish on these pasts so happy with that hopefully fingers crossed these will last and give a good rust resistance 
So thank you for watching this video today guys. I hope you've learned something. I definitely have. I'll be using this on the channel a lot more in the future when I make any new parts. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and go back and watch some previous videos. There's a lot on this channel now. A lot of machining videos for the basic, for the beginner. So enjoy that guys. See you next time when we'll be back here in the workshop.